Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Easter Friday, April 6. The scripture for this service, Psalm 4, and 1 Corinthians 15, verse 51 to 58. And now join me in singing verse 3 of The Strife is Over. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, the three sad days are quickly sped, he rises glorious from the dead, all glory to our risen head, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together, most merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, through our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help thee. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hear me when I call, O God of righteousness. Hallelujah. Psalm 4. And please recite it with me. Hallelujah. Hear me when I call, O God of righteousness. You freed me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O mortal children, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek false gods? But I know that God has set apart the godly. When I call, God will hear. Stand in awe and do not sin. Ponder upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in God. Many will say, who will show us any good? O God, bestow the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their corn and wine increased. And I will lay down in peace and sleep, for only you, my God, make me dwell in safety. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Alleluia. Hear me when I call, O God of righteousness. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 15, beginning at verse 51. Listen, I will tell you a mystery. We will not all die but we will all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For this perishable body must put on imperishability, and this mortal body must put on immortality. When this perishable body puts on imperishability, and this mortal body puts on immortality, then the saying that is written will be fulfilled. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved, be steadfast, immovable, always excelling in the work of the Lord because you know that in the Lord 
your labor is not in vain. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, Holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O righteous God, hear our prayer and have mercy upon us. Free us from all distress and grief and grant us your peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.